Hi there, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent stampin' up demonstrator and I live and work in central Scotland. <clears throat> this is my third live video of today when I'm doing full sheet stamping. This time I'm going to feature the stamp set Beauty Abound. Sorry about the glare, I'll bring that in there a wee bit. And I'm going to probably do two. One, I've got the brights out as requested from my previous video. Um, the ladies that were watching last time have requested that I use the brights with Beauty Abounds. So I've kind of split them into two groups because I just don't want all ten in one sheet. That's just for me is too much. <coughs> I actually prefer quite a tight palette. So I'm going to go... I've broken them up. Now this one, it's like, it's got what I would consider four cold colours and a warm colour. And this group I would consider four warm colours and a cold one. So we'll see how we go. So we'll pop this set aside. We've got this full set. I've no idea what I'm doing. I've not thought any, really very much about it. And I don't know where I put my card. There we are. I went off and had a wee break and had some food. So two sheets left in this packet, so that will be just right for this film. Hopefully we'll get two done anyway. <coughs> they are smaller stamps, so it will take a bit more of filling a sheet, so I might have to work a bit quicker than usual. I think the first one will only use this set and then the second one. Hi Randy. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see if it's lucky or not. I'm just like winging it completely today but I'm having fun and hi Jenny and you come. I'm having fun and I'm sharing with my friends because I do consider you all my friends now. Okay so there have been requests for Beauty Abound, so, and as I say in the previous video, the ladies voted for Bright, so let's go with it. What I think I'll do first is put some colour down onto paper, so I'm thinking this texture here, and there's the bubbles. Um, I don't know whether to keep the texture. I'll keep the texture for on the flowers and put bubbles all over. <coughs> Are you crafting as well, Randy? That is good. So I'm just checking that we can see what I'm doing here. I'll go towards the... I wonder if I just move that a wee bit. Let's see. I'm just playing now. Right, so we've got an, a strange choice of colours, I think. Mango Melody, Poppy Parade, Flirty Flamingo, Gorgeous Grape and Bermuda Bay. So I am going to, um, I don't know what colours, I, I might bring in a neutral, I'm not sure at the moment, but let me just get some Where's my stamp set? I'll have a think. Right, let's get some yellow down on. Well, it's a kind of orangey, it's a very warm yellow, I've got an orangey level. level. My, my words are not coming. Orangey lello. <laughs> um, right. I did wash all my stamps, I haven't put them away. But I didn't wash my blocks, which was maybe a bit of a mistake. It's a bit on the pink side. The cling mount is quite strong there. Right, so I'm thinking these bubble things are quite textured. Hi <laughs> Karen, and you come again. I've no idea, I'm just, bit, I'm just thinking to get some 
random colour down on the paper. These bubbles are cool because they're all different texture. Just to put some colour in the background, I'm not thinking about it. I probably should not being very random, but they're down. Let's see. I'm going to be stamping over the top, but most of the colours are quite strong. Yeah, I've only I've used it a few times, but only in a very classical way with you know single cards. So this time, what I want to do is, I think I'm going to use the. Hmm, no, I don't know about that poppy parade about. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm going to use the big stamp and I think we'll go for a grid again. We did a grid last time but well, do you know, nothing says you can't do the same sort of thing over a few times. I wonder whether to do the outline with a grey. I'm going to bring basic grey in again. It's a very pretty set. I would say it's underused. I'm just going to use this long one and make a grid and then we'll add splodges of the colour. Or shall I do stripes? I could do stripes. That's what we'll do, we'll do stripes. Um, am I doing them up and down or diagonals? Gonna go that way. Not sure about what I'm doing here because I am um, I'm right-handed now. I normally want to go that way. I don't know why I've gone this way. Something made me do that. I don't know. I don't know who made me do it, but somebody made me do it. Let that slip to be bit, but never mind. Hello, Jamie, and you come. This is my third life today, Jamie, and I'm just I'm doing some full sheet stamping so that I'm then going to be using it tomorrow to make lots of things. Probably predominantly cards and or maybe some little wee care package just with a tea bag or a biscuit or something. That's not the right angle, but never mind. So we've got Randy, Jenny, Karen and Jamie in just now. There are more people watching. Say hello if you're watching, please. Are you, or are you busy doing stuff and just listening in? Is anybody else crafting? Randy, you're crafting, aren't you? I'm not going to do crisscross this time. Now this is a strange pile of colour we've got here. I'm a bit uncomfortable about the poppy red, but it will go in. The Bermuda Bay, let's get some splatters. Might just have some red butterflies, why not? I've got the two butterflies. 
that I like the script in this as well. Sort of like, and the sentiment is nice. Hang on, I am going to put the heater on. It's a bit cold. Now I do like these two colours, the, these two colours together, the Mango Melody with the basic grey, I like that. You've just lost your stamp set. Or your stamp. <laughs> this is our A4 Randy, the cardstock, which is, what have I got an inch, let me just... Our A4 is slightly different. What is it you use, like, oh, letter size or something? It's slightly different to yours, but I just do a full sheet. Let me see. It's We've got inches on the other side here. So it's a bit more than 11 and 5 eighths. It's short of 11 and three quarters I think it's about 11 and three quarters by about eight and a quarter in the inches the whole set's stuck that's odd right so I'm going to get some Bermuda Bay on now and I was going to use the text this this one um use this block Quite small stamps in this set. I'm just going to aim this at the flowers. It either works or it doesn't. Yeah, it's fairly similar but not the same, the size of paper. But just do a full sheet and then when you're ma making things up, use your own measurements. Okay. So where else am I going to be putting this texture? I'm not sure at the moment, but just used it to add some colour around the flowers. I'm, I'm not sure at all about what I'm doing here, but I need to get this poppy parade in here. I need to get it out of my system. Red and purple, mm. we'll see. The challenge is to get all five colours in. Mm, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to do it. This will either be beautiful or horrid. Mm. 
and then I'm going to get the last colour. If I get them in then I can relax because then I've used them all. I'm glad I went for just five at a time. Right, where's my little baby butterfly? I'm actually going to get a smaller, the smaller block for this. We're going for the gorgeous grape in here now. <laughs> Talk about living dangerously. Oh, I needed to put another one of them in there. I'm thinking out loud, it's okay. That just makes more sense there. Right, that'll do just now. Right, let's go for these wee guys. I'll say I have used this before, but never like this. <laughs> There'll be people who hate watching this because I've got a few people that don't like butterflies at all. Oh, someone at the door. Hopefully the husband hears that. Excuse me. Peter! You got it, thanks. Excuse that, but I wasn't sure he had heard it. He has. Where else do we need some wee purpley butterflies? Maybe about there. I think we should have some on the other side as well, don't you? Lots of butterflies all in the wing. Are you still with me? I'm not saying very much because I'm just like not 100% sure what I'm doing. I think I've got them. No, I haven't. Okay, I've just put a wee... Right, that's butterflies in. And I'm going to use this time. What other colour will we bring in? I don't want to bring in any more colours. I just... Oh yeah, I haven't used my flirty flamingo, the other colour, isn't it? Is it morning for you, Jenny? Yeah. You're still a bit sleepy. I don't know about beauty abounds, but these certainly as butterflies abound, eh?
I'm just filling the spaces up with the flirty flamingo. I mean, it just looks like a hodgepodge sometimes. But again, when we chop it up. Or you work second shift, right, okay. So in late bed. I don't know. What do you think? How's it looking? Do you think it needs more wee but the little butterfly in maybe Bermuda Bay this time? Any, any suggestions what we could combine this with for another sheet? I like the butterflies handy, but a lot of people don't. Let's just put some more Bermuda Bay in. like the colour anyway. Let's see what we do then. In between the purple ones. I mean, you can do lovely little cards and you can colour this all in beautifully, but that wasn't really the purpose of what I wanted to do today. Just want to get some quick, bright images. That I can chop up into cards. I like dragonflies too, just haven't got any dragonfly stamp sets. Is there another stamp set you would like to see me use? I'm thinking, I don't know, kind of, I don't know. I could use these butterflies with maybe very Versailles with the leaves and the script. I don't know. Yeah, it's a bit fussy because they're very small stamps. The only dragonflies I've got are very small dragonflies. They're the ones from Friend Like You. Hi Melanie, in you come. Been working with Beauty Abounds, Melanie. And wondering what other stamp set to combine it with. Oh my goodness. I'm okay. It's fussy but it'll chop up and it'll be fine once you put um, a sentiment on or something like that. Very Versailles, Karen. Do you think? Aye, butterfly wishes. I'm, I kind of think they're a different kind of stamp. I did think about it.
I'm just thinking. Ooh. What about that one? Yeah, the branch, but it's a bit trickier to stamp it because then you've got the different colours. I'm more thinking, I think I'm going to just have a bit go here with the script and the... Hi Sandra, and you come? Yeah, I'm having a day of doing... A full sheet stamping so that I can then chop them up tomorrow and make them into a lot of things. So I'm on a mission. I'm going to close these five brights and bring the other five brights that I've got. What set are you using just now, Very, Very Versailles? That's a, as a favourite. It's one of the ones that I had to have first. That... When I saw this ca the catalogue, I, I had to have very Versailles. And then when I saw the spring summer catalogue, I had to have um, the Botanics medley. Right, so that is very bright as we thought it might be. And that was with the Mango Melody, Gorgeous Grape, Poppy Parade, Flirty Flamingo and Bermuda Bay. It's just colour. Colour on a sheet. Oh, you're using soft spring again, yeah? Very good. So we'll pop them. No, they're going to fall off there, Janice, if you put them there. Right. Make them secure. And where's the thing for cleaning? Right. That out the way just now. Bring in this sheet. Yeah, I do like soft spring, it's nice too, and it would work really well with butterflies. Do you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do that and combine it with some butterflies. So let's just have a bit of a... So again, we're bringing in brights. You stay safe, Jenny. Yeah, you could. So here I've got Melon Mambo, Coastal Cabana, Pacific Point, Granny Apple Green and Daffodil Delight. And Dragonfly to put among the butterflies, so why not? Right, so we are going to use some of the texture stamps here and these butterflies from Beauty Abounds. I'm going to leave this one out. I think. I might bring it back in. I'm going to do something a bit odd, but I'm just... My wee head's... My head's thinking. Not always a good thing. Right, we're going to really play here and see what happens, right, so. Excuse me while I think, oh yeah, right, okay, so that's the solid for that one, that's the leaves. And then they go together. We'll do that in a second. Right. I'm just thinking out loud. Ignore me sometimes. Right. So we're going to have. I'm going to stamp this with the 
granny apple green. And I'm just going to do this right along the front. I'm not wanting the bit that grounds it. I'm just going to do these right along the front. And a bit of stamping off as well. Tina and you come. Bit of a marathon day today on full sheet stamping. This is so therapeutic. <laughs> so I've got a row here. Might well add in colour and it will add in some leaves next. So again, so we've got I think what we're gonna use. We'll just aim this at it, see what happens. So you don't have to fill in the leaves, but you can maybe we'll just do It works quite well doing the same colour. I'm not going to be precise, but I'm aiming at roughly at the leaves. It's you can be pretty precise with this if you really feel the need but I'm just Trying to, I'm sort of getting my act together this week I've done a lot more craft in this week joined in with other people a few times as well, taking part in other people's um, live events on Facebook and things. It's been quite, quite good. Right, so then I'm going to put the colour in the flowers. So what colour will we have? Really, really bright, we'll have blue flowers. Pacific Point flowers, why not? Because we're going bright. Oops, they might look kind of like those grape hyacinths, see? Make them into bigger flowers and then me too. This is Soft Spring, it's a hostess set, so you either need to host a party or workshop or um, just put in an order of £150 or more, I don't know what that would be. Where are you Tina? Are you in the UK? Keep forgetting to do the background ones. Or your USA, so I'm not quite sure how you what the price point is for a for your discount to be able to get 
um, the hostess set. But it's lovely. It's, it's again. It's like it's quite overlooked. Used it quite a lot, and it's been. Randy, you made me aware of it again. I had you watched one of my videos, and kind of you've made it come to the forefront again, which is good. I just kind of stopped using it. I'm a bit darker there, right? So there's my flowers, and it's going to have butterflies and dragonflies. Hi, Cindy, and you come from Arizona. Okay, so we've got. So I'm going now. Going to put wisteria coming down. So I'm actually going to turn it upside down. This is one of these ones that I probably not want to cut up when I'm done. So, but where did I put the? Here it is. Okay, and yeah. There's the stamp as well. Right. So again, I think I'll use the this again and look. Need a bigger. I don't really want to use a bigger block. So I'm going to sacrifice some of the stem. I'll use a bigger block then I end up getting it all link. I'm just basically going to do that. I think of this. Is it $150? Okay, there you go. I'm just going to do the same sort of thing here. Oh yeah, you need to buy some stamps, Tina. We always need stamps. I always find it quite disappointing if I get an order and I haven't ordered some stamps for me. <laughs> I'm basically just doing the same thing. Along the top. I love wisteria but this is going to have to be a different colour to wisteria to what I've been used to seeing because we're sticking with the five colours that we started with okay you've got to take your car in okay Cindy but hi it's nice to see you hope you're keeping safe Hope you'll be social distancing with your car when you take it in. I'm sure you will. And then I'm going to put the flower bits on here and I think we'll we'll have melon mambo wisteria. Why not? This is our picture. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to chop this up. This one might have to be bookmarks or something. Very long bookmarks, I think. Although no, because I'll be able to chop some of that off. Right, I'm just thinking out loud. And then we'll have a, an area there for our butterflies. So it's kind of a picture in thirds. Right, so just roughly... Actually, it's quite pretty in that colour, isn't it? Can't find. Oh, I rather like them. Stay safe, Cindy. We'll see you later.
There's the little leaves here. Sorry, I'm concentrating. I think you need to talk amongst yourselves. I forget. I want you here for company and then I forget to talk to you and keep you interested. It's a nice set. Now we're going to bring Beauty of Bounds in though as well. We'll just put some... I missed that completely. Doesn't matter, it just gives a bit of a look. Love it when I miss. I just go, it doesn't matter. It's not important. <laughs> just roughly, it's just giving some more texture to the leaves. That's what I meant it be like that. There we go. That's the leaves. Close this up. Oh, I'm getting tired. I'm tiring myself out. This is hard work. Right, I'm certainly bringing these colours out again. I'm just tidying now. We've not got these two colours are not in yet. Right, butterflies. I'm thinking again, mixing up the colours. Get them in and then we'll see what happens once they're in a, quite a lot of white space. Are we keeping white space or are we getting rid of it? Right, so the, I've got two butterflies from... Right, I've got yellow and I'm just going to put... touch of blue on the edge of its wings. Just for a bit of fun. So that's our daffodil yellow. It's going to have a lot of butterflies. And then again, just for just a teeny wee touch is that working do you think like that one too so they're all different as butterflies are in the wild yay so you can make you make them all different well, when we do the little one we'll do something else with it so just tips and edge No particular. Let's just do three at a time because that works. Right, we'll bring in the littlies. Where's the wee baby one? Now this one's going to be bright ones. I know I'm just just sliding in a wee technique here and there, but mostly this is just straightforward, simple stamping. This time I'm just going to do some blue butterflies, but I'm going to stick them up up here. Yeah, I was thinking that grave dragonflies would be cool. The 
this is the common blue I've decided. They've all congregated up there. <sighs> Having a wee think. I don't know, I might not bring grey in. Actually, I might have melon mambo dragonflies down here. Just great leaf grey out of this one to do this one. They're trying to bring the strong colour up there and then mirror that down here. So now we'll add in some yellow texture from Beauty Abounds. That was my new trick of being able to stamp without any ink. There is no hope. I love this wee stamp. Just love it. There's another, there is another dragonfly stamp. Isn't it? Oh, there's a pair of dragonflies in Friends Like You. Bring some down here. just stamping for pure and utter fun and relaxation. That's playing with colour. We have a swarm of dragonflies and a swarm of butterflies. Right, I need to bring some yellow in here and yellow up there. Well, I've used all the stamps out of that set, so let's get some more of these ones. I don't know whether to do the splatters or... Oh, Karen, I really don't know, but I'll try and put a notice out. I, it's very difficult at the moment to know when you can do anything. And the other problem is, I share my bed. My craft room is also my bedroom, so some sometimes I want to get up and get stamping, but my husband is lie, having a lie in, and it seems mean to say get up. I want to stamp. <laughs> It's working okay, isn't it? Let's just get some ye more yellow in. Let's just use this kind, this texture. Put it in. I probably should have used this underneath before we even started. I feel like we could have brought the, some of the dragonflies lower down, but never mind, because I think I'll probably end up chopping some of this off. Let's put some yellow in up here. This is actually a nice wee splatter. And I'll 
not used. I like the, yeah, that, that is nice. Um, yeah, it's quite hard to know for sure, Karen. But if you don't get me on live, you'll get me on replay. See, if I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the windy or something like that. Right, I'm thinking I want more of these little butterflies, but in, what I haven't used is the Postal Cabana. Oh, that was clever, look. Anyone got a cure for pink finger? Guess who has to either wash her hair or wash a lot of dishes? <laughs> I've got all the stamps from this morning all washed, I just haven't put them away. So now I've got this pile as well. <laughs> right, where's my little block? I just like that dragonfly too. I'm going to have more butterflies and I'm going to use Pacific Point. I'm going to close Melon Mambo before I do more damage. I haven't actually used Bermuda uh, Coastal Cabana and it was supposed to feature so it might, I might shove some texture in as well with it. Right. see. We've got a swarm here. There's no room for anyone to walk in this garden. Butterflies and dragonflies everywhere. I've got the imagination of a five year old, I think. Must be a beautiful sunny day, all these butterflies have come out to play. Now I could have a competition for someone to tell me how many butterflies there are and how many dragonflies there are. That's what happens when you don't clean your stamp properly, you get mixed colour, which actually is quite nice. but. Just for good measure. Who wants the counting job then? <laughs> right, there you go. I think I should stop while well, the going's good. Full sheet my way, so let's just go over the colours again. Okay, so when I come on again, I need some suggestions for what you want the next time. So that's 
half of the brights, that's Daffodil Yellow, Granny Apple Green, Pacific Point, Costa Cabana and Melon Mambo. So that's two, two full sheet stamping with Beauty Abounds. And this one I've used the big stamp as well as all the other stamps. And this one I've used Soft Spring with some the butterflies and the texture stamp from Beauty Abounds. So that's the two stamp sets. I've actually enjoyed I enjoyed this one best. But that's because I like this soft spring more, I think. Anyway, what do you think? Which one do you like best? I put them like that. Which one do you like best? If you watch, hi Lorna, <laughs> third time lucky, and I'm just finishing. <laughs> what a shame. Okay, so this is the third one. As I say, I'll I'll bring it out and let you see what we've done already today. But which one do you like better? The one that's kind of a scene or the one that's a pattern? One or two, what do you think? No opinions. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you're sitting on the fence. The garden fence. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. Right, and I just for the people who have only made it into this one, we'll show you what we've done today. So I started off with slice of what's it called? Slice of happiness. I started off with that. Let me get that out. And I had just I've never used that stamp set before, so I just played with it. So some bits of that are usable and some bits are maybe not. That was that didn't really work. Although to a certain extent it did when it's dried out. Um, then we went on to do that with the grapes which I'm really liking. Oh, I'll get a look at it in a minute then Randy with my coffee. And then that was the first video. Then the second one I did this in portrait with the Sip Sip Hooray and Timeless Tropical and some Regals and then use the, that so that was half of the Regals yeah I'll have a wee look and see and then this one is the other half of the Regals so and then this and that was using the pomegranate from the slice of happiness along with timeless, timeless tropical and then we went on and we did beauty abounds with half of the brights and then this one with the other half of the brights bringing in soft spring with beauty abounds yeah I'm, I'm actually going off in a minute anyway Sandra I'm going off to have a cup of coffee but before I leave what I am wanting to know is what you would like me to do on the next one I'm going to go and have a cup of coffee and I'll come on in about half an hour and do a shorter one. So what what would is there a stamp set you'd like me to use? I'm thinking I'll you I'll go for subtles or shall I go for the new in colours, the ones the 2019 to 2021 ones? It's it's okay Lorna, there's no rush, they'll be up there forever. The one good thing with YouTube is they don't take things away. And what I might do is create a pay playlist for them so that then you can watch them one after the other if you if you choose to. So 
Can I have some suggestions for the next one? What stamp set would you like me to play with? I'm ashamed to say I do have quite a lot here. What would you like? Any opinions, Randy, on what you want me? Healing hugs. Okay. I like that. What about two of my old rows? I like that. I've been playing with that quite a bit lately. No? Any suggestions? And should I go with the 2019 in colours, the Rococo Rose, Seaside Spray etc. Or shall we go with the Subtles and see how we get on with the Subtles? We do healing hugs and the subtles. Okay. We might ha we'll have to combine healing hugs with another set because there's not enough in it. Anyway, I'm going to go and get some coffee. Thanks, ladies, for following me so far. Please, if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and please hit the bell icon so you get notified of the next ones coming on. If you're watching on the replay, it is taking YouTube a day or two to get the live chat available for you. But So it might, all the things I'm saying might not make sense to you, but it is a live video and I have been chatting and interacting with the, my lovely, the lovely community that we're building here. Okay, take care everyone, stay safe and we'll see you after coffee.